And Larry, can you tell us um, a little bit about the nature of the injuries for those transports out? There was one burn victim. The other, um, I don't have the extent of those um, injuries, if it was scrapes or, or, or abrasions or whatnot, but I do know that there was one patient that suffered burns, and that was one of the um, serious to critical patients that was taken to Loyola uh, Hospital. What are firefighters doing as we speak? Uh, I, I would imagine in the building a search and rescue operation. What's happening now? Correct. They've, um, they've gone through the building. They haven't located anybody uh, that's missing or anything. And then obviously uh, people's gas as well as the fire department are taking readings, making sure that there's no um, buildup of gas in the area as well. So, so Larry, I just want to want to make sure I heard you right. Everyone is accounted for at this point. At this point, um, again, this is all preliminary. The investigation is continuing, but yes, at this point, we don't have anybody that's not accounted for. Larry, how many adjacent buildings in this area have been evacuated? As we look out at the video from the ground level outside of the building, we see a school crossing sign. I know Ellington Elementary is about one block north, one block west of here. Is the school affected? Is it just apartments neighboring this unit? Well, the neighborhood, the, the, the folks that live in the area are, are all out, as you can probably see from the, from the helicopter view. But... The one building that's basically connected to the affected building, that's the one that has that has been evacuated. There are other buildings, um, you know, obviously uh, close by, but to my knowledge, the one adjacent building has been evacuated. We're looking at pictures now on the screen, and, and we're looking at blown out windows on almost every floor of this building, at least on the south side of it, closest to the damage of that collapse. Uh, Larry, I know it's all preliminary at this point, but based on just the debris that you're seeing and what you've seen since you've been out there, any idea what could have caused this explosion? That is under investigation, and, and the Office of Fire Investigations will be uh, giving us uh, a report on what the cause is, but I, I can't go into those details at this point. Have you received any reports, Larry, of, uh, of a loud boom? Is that what people are talking about in the area? Did they hear something before the collapse? Well, preliminary reports, there was a fire crew that was in the area on a different call and they heard a loud noise and so they you know the, the crews that were in the area were, were were very early on aware that something was not right yeah and and we even heard even from a nearby school uh, duke ellington school a the secretary there said he heard that boom too earlier on this morning uh larry are you out there on the ground right now nearby I am. And we haven't had a chance to, to talk to any of the neighbors, any of the residents in that building. Uh, have you spoken to anyone out there? I have not. Okay. Um, any sense, just by, by looking at the people uh, that you may see out there, any idea how those residents are doing? Anybody shaken up? It doesn't appear to be. I mean, okay. people are just uh, obviously looking and wondering what happened. They can obviously see the damage. You know, they have their cell phones, they're recording. They're talking to loved ones, I would imagine, but you know, it's a pretty calm scene at this point. Larry, what about the, the search and evacuation process for your Chicago Fire Department um, employees? How do you go about evacuating a building like this, searching a building like this when it is clearly structurally unsound? Well, in the early parts of the investigation, they would, they would go in and they would search from floor to floor and all of those preliminary searches have been um, negative. Which is uh, good news so far. Uh, Larry Merritt, Chicago Fire Department, with us uh, explaining this breaking news situation that we're watching right now, this explosion and partial building collapse, uh, Weston Avenue and, and Central and the South.